Hi everyone. So today I'm gonna do some chicken pastels. And I have some minced chicken here and some minced pork and both of them have the exact same ingredients. So I added the regular green seasoning with enough garlic. I added some chopped onion, some tomato paste, paprika, ginger powder and chicken seasoning with some salt. And the only thing I'll be going in with before I give it a mix is some moisture sauce in both of them. And over here I have my pre-cooked yellow cornmeal. Right, I have raisins, black and gold raisins, capers and olives. So I'm gonna start guys. Okay, so this is the minced meat already seasoned up. This is the chicken, this is the pork. Alright, and I will be chopping the raisins, capers and olives. And I already have my pot heating up there for both meats. So I'm going to cook the meat and we'll be back. Okay, so the chicken started to cook. So when this finishes up, I'm going to let it cool properly and then I'll make the dough. Okay, so the both meats cook nicely. I'm going to add all of my chopped raisins, capers and olives. I chopped them all. So I'm going to add that into these two pots equally. Okay, so the boat meats are ready. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to cool properly and then we'll continue. All right, so while my meat for the pastels are cooling off, I'm gonna prepare dinner for my kids. So they would like to have some curry chicken with Indian spices. So I have my chicken drain and the plate I have turmeric, Kashmiri powder, chili powder, salt and over here I have some onions, bay leaf, spice which is cinnamon stick, cloves and green cardamom and I still have to add that while we're cooking coriander and garam masala Okay guys, and I have a little bit of yogurt yogurt in there and we're gonna get started with the paste. Okay, we're gonna prepare the paste for the chicken. So there is one tomato, onions, ginger and garlic paste, chilies, and I'm gonna puree this in my blender and you'll see that in a few minutes. Okay, so this is the tomato, onion, ginger, garlic, this and chilies that I told you I was going to puree for the chicken. So now my avocado oil is heated up. I'm going to go in with the dry spices and onions. We'll add the onions now. I'm going to cook the onions until it's golden brown. And we'll be back now. Alright, so I added the Kashmiri powder, the chili powder, and the turmeric in the pot so I'll add a little bit of water let's just stop the onion from getting the dark and let this cook for like a minute or two and then we'll add the tomato paste with the other spices that we pureed into the pot 
Okay guys, I'm going to add the tomato paste in now. And here we go. I'm going to give this a good mix and we'll be right back. So we went ahead and added the, the puree paste with all of the tomatoes, onions, ginger, garlic and chilies. I'm going to let this cook like four to five minutes and then we'll add the chicken and we will be right back. Okay, so at this point, I'll go in with my chicken. And so you'll see that in a few moments. All right, I went in with a chicken. I'm going to give it a good mix. And leave this to cook for like 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so I added the chicken. I gave it a good mix. And we would leave this uncovered because I want the chicken to fry down properly. And we'll be back. Okay guys, so the chicken is cooking and this has to cook down. Dry and then I'll add a little bit of water to finish it off. And over here I have some avocado oil heating up again. I have some fresh eggplants that I'm going to cook also with some potato and I have some ginger and garlic paste, some cumin seeds and onions to get started with this dish. So for the eggplant I added the cumin seeds first then I'll go in with the onions and the ginger garlic paste let that fry up well yes else and we'll be right back for the eggplant, I'm going to let this onion cook a little bit and then add the ginger garlic paste and we'll be back guys. Alright, so I added the ginger garlic paste. I'm going to go in with the potatoes and let that fry up nicely and add some tomatoes together with the potatoes. So I'll add the potatoes together with the tomatoes and I'm going to let this fry well and then we'll add the eggplant for the other spices. Okay, so for the eggplant, there's turmeric, salt, coriander powder, garam masala. So I'm going to go in with this. Give it a good mix. Um, I'm going to add the eggplant. Okay, guys. So the chicken water, first water just fried down nicely. I'm going to add some potatoes in. My kids would like potatoes in there. I'm going to give it a good mix and add a little more water to finish cooking. Okay guys, so I'm going in with some hot water, like one cup, and I'm going to cover this and let it cook for like 20 to 25 minutes and we'll be back. Okay guys, so at this point I added some low fat yogurt to finish it off. So I'm giving it a good mix and I'll leave it for another five to six minutes. Okay hey guys, so I'm giving the eggplant and the potatoes a mix, checking in and covering it back for a few more minutes. And there we have it guys, chicken curry, curry chicken with nice Indian spices yummy delicious guys the eggplant is almost ready and when i turn off the stove i'll just add some fresh coriander and it will be ready to eat 
Okay guys, this is the potatoes and eggplant that I showed you and this is the curry chicken with Indian spices and there are numerous ways to make curry chicken Indian style So guys, I started to heat my banana leaves so it will be nice and pliable for the pastels so I did this set already and I'm gonna continue okay guys so I'm going to start kneading the corn flour or corn meal for the pastel and this is the pre-cooked yellow corn meal I'm gonna add some butter to this and knead with a lukewarm water okay everyone so this is my corn flour or cornmeal mix i'm using some avocado oil to paste on the leaves the leaves are already heated i'm gonna start with the chicken first i'm gonna get started okay guys i added some of the mix I'm pressing it on with my hands. I think it's faster that way. And then I will do the filling of the chicken. I do have a pasta press, but I just prefer to use my hands. that I got in the supermarket was not so good not too much to my likeness I have to make it work okay and now we will fold it I am going to be adding some foil over this also because I'll be boiling them. I'll continue and we'll be right back. I'm going to show up now. Ready? Okay. Look. So yeah. I Look finish up wrapping my chicken pastels. All right. And have my water. It's boiling. So I'm going to add the pastels in and leave them for 15 minutes. And then we'll put them to drain of all the excessive water. Okay guys, this is very time consuming for me because I have to do all of this myself. First we do the green banana leaves and then the foil wrap. It's a lot of time. Okay guys, we'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the first set that I'm steaming and I'm going to continue. So guys, we decided to make our pastels early. Put it set the drain. We're making some chicken pastels. You guys see for chicken. Chicken, what, what again we do? We're doing some pork tomorrow. And tomorrow doing some pork pastels. Very time consuming. A lot of time. It's like the size of these business guys. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have some ready meat. I'm going to try one hot one just now. Make some pepper sauce. This little one is for my little travel pack. Make some green pepper sauce for the pastels. 
This is a massive. All right. Yeah. So guys, now now wrap this up. Wait for this to boil. Some more chicken. That's probably one dozen. All right. Bado. Yes, man. Yes, that is what we're talking about, man. So chicken pasta that's going on. Mm, this batch already finished, man. Batch right here. Let's get some new stocks coming in for the Christmas season. Check out the colors. Festive. This green pepper sauce, guys. Oh my god. Can't wait. Taste one of this chicken pasta, guys. Yes, this is finished, guys. Pastels, guys. Pastels. Making these pastels to carry to Texas, man. I like to eat my pasta on a Christmas morning. I was, I was going to take some orders, but it's too much work, guys. So you get your pastels and things. But tonight I'm gonna eat this big one. Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> Check it out. <sighs> but oh! Hey guys, so I'm gonna continue with my pork pastels. So I have my cornmeal, some butter, the minced pork, my leaves. So for the mixture, I'm gonna use the cornmeal, some butter, and lukewarm water. And that will be it for that. And we'll continue. Okay, guys, so I have my mixture here, and I'm gonna continue to make the pork pastas. Yeah, I have some avocado oil. I'm gonna place it on the leaves. And I'm gonna just press it out with my hands. So guys, I do have a pasta press, as I said before, but I want to do it with my hands, so I finish pasta. Okay, and then we'll go in with some of the minced pork. And you can add how much pork you want to put in there. Fires. You notice how many types of fires are there? Do you know? It's five. There's. Okay, guys, so this is how you fold it, how I showed you with the leaves. And then we wrap them. Okay, so I'm still going to wrap these with foil. I'm going to continue all of this and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up wrapping my pork pastels. 
I wrap it in the green banana leaves first and then in the foil and the water is boiling so I'm gonna boil this for like 15 minutes and we'll be right back so guys we finish out our pork pastels Probably like three dozens. So you do chicken and you do pork. So pork pasta guys. Yeah. Open up one of this goodness now and try it man. Yeah. Alright. Yes man, so I'm in the table. I'll get my pork pasta. We make some chicken, we make some pork. So um I'm gonna try the pork, man. You know? Try this pork now. Um, let's see how it is, man. So season greetings to everyone, man. Alright. Um we make some pepper sauce. We also make some green one, as you all see. I'm gonna try it with this pastel, all right? That thing look amazing, man, all right? So, let me try it. Honey, can you hand me the green pepper sauce? Yeah. We also um, make an Indian style chicken. I'm gonna eat that with some um, rice, all right? So, let me try this pork pastel first, all right? Lina, what's up? Whatever. All right, so honey, hand me the pepper sauce. Yes, guys, so this is our green hot sauce for the Christmas season. Indonesia specialty. Bright, nice orange. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna try this now with my pork pastel. So I'm gonna unwrap this goodness, man. Wow. Nice. Oh. I'm gonna try the green hot sauce with it. Bam. Try as good as guys. Basto. Mm. Wow. Mm. Green hot sauce. The spoke pastel man is unbelievable. Full of flavor, nice, tender, Ooh. tenderness. Mm. You want pastel? Mm. Yeah, man. I'm gonna try with the hot sauce, the red one. Let's go, shake up this goodness. Ow. Damn, woo, rich orange color. Yeah. Those guys. Mm. Woo. Woo. Can you bring something with me to drink, babe? Wow. Maybe a nice cold Corona. Mm. Guys, this is so good. Check out the recipe, man, and make this at home, guys. Mm. Corona. Three, two, bam. Corona. Check out 
guys, guys. Season greetings again. Cool and nice. So guys, this pork parcel is amazing, man. Mm. Whoa. Try it, guys. You will like it. Top of the line. I'm gonna try my Indian style chicken out with some rice. And don't forget my chili honey. Can't eat that Indian chicken without some chili. Alright. Guys, so I have my Indian style chicken going to the table now. get some of that chili all right so guys I'm gonna try this now let's see how we should make it get some of the potato Full of flavor, hmm. This is all those Indian spices. Wow, it's amazing! Wow, guys, this is unbelievable. So, guys, try the recipe at home, and you guys are gonna like it. Hmm, top of the line. Whoa. All right, very, very flavorful. Hmm. Okay, man. Chili. Oops, sorry guys. Chili. Hmm. What a flavor, wow. Hmm. Wow, those chilies are very hot, man. Mm. Chicken is on point. Let's guys, so cheers. Mm. If you make an Indian style bike and alu, mm. also want to try this one. Take some rice from over here. Yes, man. All those Indian spices just mm, boosting with flavor. Yes, man. A banana and aloo. Wow. Mmm. Top of the line. Wow. Yes, guys, so try it, man. You guys want to like it? Mm. Guys, this food is so amazing. Oh my god. Mm. Cheers, guys. Indian style bag and alu, top of the line. Let's chi chicken. It's amazing. If you like eating in one of those um, high-end Indian restaurants, man. Believe it. Mm. Top of the line. So guys, this, these two dishes was amazing. All right. Top of the line. Hey Mike, 
which is Indian style chicken nisha make man something with a little twist delicious all right so i want to big up mike and sandy all right from upstate new york our youtube family all right trini yorker and trisha yeah man all right so guys season greetings so a youtube family all right so love you guys and stay tuned until the next one all right and as we say Bado, yeah man. Yes guys, so YouTube um, friends, Dave and Trish from Florida. All right, um, Bean Rocky, what's up man? We watched that whole wedding, it was an awesome wedding. You know, um, Trini in Atlanta and her husband. All right, and um, the white Trini from Florida. What's up, man? And big up to your wife, you know. Shy girl. Yeah, man. All right. Um, that's our YouTube family in in the states, right? Yeah, man. So love you guys and be safe. Until the next one. Yeah, man. Hey, not forgetting. Anna's Kitchen, Anna and Ricky, yeah man, love you guys, bye